This week on the table, we have Rubber Soul. Rubber Soul. What does that mean? I have no I've idea. I've always wondered what that meant. I really have no idea. I thought it was kind of a play on worlds. Wor- worlds. A play on words like a rubber shoe soul, S O L E, and then they just change it to soul to be funny. Well, they are the, they are the Beatles with an A. Yeah, so that's I got nothing. I always that that was I I think that might be one of my problems with this album mm. is what is the rubber soul? Please see this album actually has some of my favorite Beatles songs on it. I love Norwegian Wood. I do really like Norwegian Wood. I love that song. I love Nowhere Man. That is probably one of my favorite guitar tones and guitar solos of all time. Nowhere Man. I love that song. That's one of my favorites. I have to think about it. Let's see. What I else can't we think got? of the guitar solo. Michelle, Sorry. that's a great. Yeah, song. I don't really like that song. I I think that's. A great I think song. Girl is the best song on no, this album. No, that is great. That song. That is the stuff. I'm looking through you. That's another great song. In my life, come on, that's a great song. Yeah. Again, I'm not like a huge fan of that song. Really? Huh. Well, I think this album has some great songs on it. They're not all great. I mean, this to me, Rubber Soul and Revolver. You know, we've talked about how the Beatles progressed over time and how they were always trying to, you know, push themselves and push their sound. To me, Rubber Soul and Revolver are the most similar. Almost as if they could have been released as a double album, but they were just separated. And maybe I feel like Rubber Soul is where they were trying new things, they weren't quite there yet, mm. and then Revolver, they got it. Yeah. I mean, because I do really like Norwegian Wood a lot, and I love Girl, but I can't say I like most of the songs on this album very well. Mm-hmm. I would just grab a couple from yeah. this album. But Revolver, I see what you mean, where there's a lot of difference between the songs. Yeah. There's not really much similarity as you go through the album here in Rubber Soul. And I think it, it's... As far as their recording history goes, these two albums were almost recorded back to back. Where, you know, I'm not sure if maybe they some of the songs came from the same sessions or they were in, recorded in the studio on the same day, or if all the songs were just kind of written at a certain point in time. But they have a very similar feel, and this kind of this album to me, Rubber Soul, is where. You know, this is where you start to kind of get... To me, Rubber Soul starts the argument that most musicians have that doing drugs influences for better music. I don't know. I just remember, like, personally for me, personal statement here, I've never touched a, a drug. I've never touched, you know, even marijuana. Never touched the stuff. I just have never felt the desire to. And the constant argument I got as a teenager when everybody else was trying this stuff was that, dude, if you don't do it, your music's going to suck. And it's like, okay, well then I'll just sacrifice, you know, trying this stuff out to just mature naturally as a musician and a songwriter. And to me, this album starts a sequence of albums where it's very apparent that, and to their own admission that they were partaking in some psychedelic drugs and that kind of influenced their music and maybe it's because i feel like this album starts it that maybe the result isn't as good and thus the argument is you know stupid so i do actually really like the song drive my car as well i don't know it's a fun song it is and it's a great album beginning yes you know absolutely a great riff, a, the performances are great, great harmonies, and that has always been a, a common theme with the Beatles, has been that their harmonies are just so on and so tight. And even if they're not tight, they just, they sound great for some reason. They just sound good. The Beatles on a bad day sound better than most bands <laughs> do on a good day. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Rubber Soul for me is 
probably, I would say, out of my top, you know, out of like ordering all the albums from you know my favorite to least favorite, it's probably somewhere in the middle ground for me. It's not particularly high on the list, but it's also not particularly low. Um, I certainly enjoy it. For me, as I've gotten older, I've found, and I think most people find this, that this album and on are the albums that I gravitate towards more than anything previous. I, that kind of bubblegummy pop kind of thing just doesn't do and it for you. And as a kid, a I while. only heard the bubblegummy pop songs. Yeah. So I guess I just didn't know that other yeah. stuff existed. Yeah. I mean, I, I, of course I can, I can recommend anybody listen to this. I'm, I don't want anybody to think that I don't like this album at all. I just am saying that for me, like this is, this is middle ground territory and from my taste and there's a few songs that I take away from this album Definitely. that really inspire me and really that I want to listen to. I will stop and not skip over, uh, personally Norwegian wood it's the it's Nowhere the Man. kind of riff in Norwegian wood where it just keeps dun, going dun 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 it's fine yeah I don't know and it's just like that repetitive you feel like that you're in this wash I don't know I like it yeah totally but yeah check it out I mean, your opinion is probably going to be different from ours, yeah. and that's the beauty of music. We all can like different things, and we can all have different opinions on on many different styles of music. So, there you have it, this week's album on the table. Robert Soul.